Hello everyone, welcome back. Now we are going to show you a new ADC that is ADS Triple One Four. And to gain more knowledge about this ADC, let's proceed to ControlEverything.com. And here we have to search on for this ADC that is ADS Triple One Four. And let's see what we got here. And here we are with this ADC, and it's a 16-bit two-channel precision analog to digital converter. And there is a long list of features which is onto the screen and you can also purchase this ADC right from here. Also I will be interfacing the ADS triple one four which is a ADC with a particle photon and the software platform will be a particle code and to get your hands on the code let's go to resource tab and here we are with the particle code sample as you notice we can download the code sample as a zip file right from here. Also we can get the code from github.com and the concerned repository there is control everything community. Now what we need is to put up some connections for the hardware and let's proceed further. Well coming to the hardware connection setup part, uh, the first thing we require which you are able to see on my screen is a particle photon. Now this here is an I2C sheet. It's available and can be purchased from the website controleverything.com and the reason we are using this shield is to make connections easier with other I2C devices. So for that what we require is to gently place this particle photon over the I2C shield and make a connection just like that. Now to power up this particle photon what do we require is a micro USB cable which you can see on my screen and gently insert it over this power jack. Now we need our ADC analog to digital converter that is ADS1114 and this here is a connecting cable. Now make sure while making the connection among the cable and the ADC the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the ADC and similarly we have to follow this route for the ground terminal of the I2C sheet. Now we are done with all the concerned connections for the hardware. Now let's have a look over the code. Now for the interfacing section first of all we have to log into github.com and here we have to search on for the repository that is control everything community. And then we have the particle code, but for that we have the ADC that is ADS1114. And then we have particle code as you notice on to my screen. But let's have a look over the instructions we need to fulfill. First of all, we have to log into a particle photon and we have to set up a device. And the steps are on this link, which I will just open right in front of you front of you. And you will notice we have all the relevant information regarding this. After that we have to download or get pull the code and on the online ID we have to copy the entire code and bell.particle is the online ID where we need to paste our entire code. First of all we need to create a file we have to paste it and after that we can save it. And after that the last part is to verify and flash the code and we can have our code output to be displayed in the form of logs on the dashboard and dashboard.particle.io user log is the link where we can have a relevant uh, output onto the screen. So this is how the instructions work. Now get back to the particle code as you notice onto my screen. It's a .ino extension part. First thing you notice in the code that we have included application.h and spark while in i2c.h header files and we have defined address of the sensor that is 0x48. Now we have an integer raw ADC initialized here and void setup function we have some set of variables here. Now next we have initialized I2C communication as master and serial communication with a baud rate equal to 9600. In the writing session part we are going to select a configuration register which is 0x01 and we are going to send data. As you notice we have a positive end which comprises of the AIN0 and negative end which will be AIN1. Voltage reference range will be plus minus 2.048 volt comprises of 0x84 data and continuous conversion mode 128 SPS which is 0x83. After that in the void loop function we are going to set the data register that is 0x00 and we are re requesting and reading as you know this 2 bytes of the data from this very register. Then we have the conversion of the data takes place here which we have seen in the instructions part of the ADC data sheet for ADS1114. At the very end we want to display the output data onto the dashboard which is digital value of analog input and here we are with the code. Now we need to know how it works and let's proceed further. Now let's have a look over the practicality of this code and for that let's copy this entire code of the particle and then move on to the build terminal we have discussed 
earlier in the instructions part and here we need to face the entire code and uh, let's name it ADS 1114 and now save it and let's verify and compile the code and it's great work now we need to flash the code and while flashing we have to check for the magenta flash which confirms that code is good to go and just now we have that flash on to the particle photon and here is the successful notification now we need to open up the dashboard user logs and we can have our respective output onto the screen and as you know we have the digital value of analog input it's coming the full value almost because there is nothing connected among the sensor but instead when I try to connect a battery double a battery of 1.5 volt right now we have the values which will be 4062 it's the raw value which is coming on to the screen right now so this means the sensor is working as per the desire now let's have a look over the applications and the working we have just seen now feature the ADS triple one four is a precision analog to digital converter with 16 bit of resolution the ADS triple one four featured an onboard reference and oscillator data are transferred via an I2C compatible serial interface four I2C slave addresses can be selected the ADC 1114 operates from a single power supply ranging from 2.0 volt to 5.5 volt. The concerned applications regarding this ADC due to high accuracy analog to digital conversions are portable instrumentation, consumer goods, battery monitoring, temperature measurement and a lot more to mention. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site. You can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.